Tracy. And I'm Scott. And we are going to talk to you today about our recent trip on the Eurodam. Yes, we're going to talk about good, bad, and some things Holland should try to fix, I think. Mm. And getting on and getting off was easy. Mm -hmm. There was no delays. We got on in, I don't know, what, 15 minutes, you think, or something like that. It was fast. It was pretty right. quick. Enjoyed that, for sure. And the disembarkation was even faster. Yes. It just walked right off, so it was a right. big deal. So, we ate at every restaurant. And enjoyed every restaurant. There was nothing, I don't think we had a bad meal anywhere. It was, it was amazing how well everything went for us at the eating-wise. Yeah, there was nothing bad. Everything was good. One thing we liked was in the Lido... They are serving you the food probably 90 to 95% of the time, which is very nice. You don't have to worry about people handling the spoons or plates or anything. So that was really nice. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy that because I forget where what cruise we were on last. Or, oh, it was region. People were serving themselves. I didn't like that. Right. So that was a very good thing. Uh, the cabins were clean. Yes, very nice. Comfortable. Uh, we really liked, uh, if you watch our video on the cabin tour yes. we really liked the lights uh that came on they were motion detection yes on the floor outside the bathroom and the small um night light in the bathroom was very nice yep so that was really nice about that cabin on the yard dam uh the rolling stone lounge and the billboard on board are separated not like on the pinnacle class ships so they were able to do shows at the same time in yeah. those those two venues. And both of them were packed. Every time we went mm -hmm. to one, it was packed. So we had only ever experienced Pinnacle Class with being on the St Staten New Staten Dam, Dam yes. a few times. That was our only experience with Holland was the New Staten Dam until the Euro Dam. So we did enjoy the smaller ship. Uh, they had central shops which was also different. And uh, so it was nice that all the shopping was just in that one central area on deck three. Mm, yes, I think. Which was also very close to the ocean bar, which is where we like to have uh, drinks prior to our dinners. So that was a nice area. And ocean bar on there is a lot larger than it was on Staten Dam. Yes, it's a very large area. And they had music. Yes. Starting at three, like six three o'clock. Yeah, three piece band yeah. or... So that was different than at Ocean Bar on Staten Dam. Uh, they were very clean all around the ship. We saw them cleaning constantly. Yeah, they're very nice because they were constantly wiping down the handrails, which was really nice. Last time we were on Staten Dam, that wasn't the case. No. So we were happy to see that. The staff was all friendly and they have just recently updated their casino on there. Yes on the Euro Dam, and they took away the gallery bar, making for a much larger casino. Yes. So if you like casinos, then. Yeah, there was never, I went in there, what, three or four times? You went in a couple times. Mm -hmm. Never waited for a machine or anything. Yes, plenty of machines. So those were our things that we really liked about the Euro Dam. And uh, now we're gonna talk about some things that were not so great about the Euro Dam. Number one, was the um, main pool has a beautiful water feature, but it wasn't working. The whole time we were on, well, we were on there, what, seven days? 10, ten, days. Days. It was ten days. It was 10 days. And uh, it never worked. And the roof didn't work, or half the roof didn't work, I should say. That just, they were working on it, and that was annoying too, because we'd be, you'd be sitting around the pool and at whatever, noon, 12, 2 o'clock, and they're up there banging with, probably six pound sledgehammers and knocking things around and it was really annoying but i know they have to fix things but it just seemed like they never did get a fix it the never roof was fixed. never was well fixed. wait it did move once yeah. but it just barely moved they were like yeah. trying something out but the the roof stayed the same the whole time we were yes. on the ship yes never changed um so that was not good those were the two things that were broken also around the pool they have a section close to the bar where they had a lot of tables for eating, uh, but then there weren't enough lounges. Yes, inside the railing around the pool, there were tables. Usually that, when we were on the Staten Dam, and I, you know, well, the Staten Dam be the only one, they, they had the lounge chairs in there, but this one, they had tables, and, and there was no one sitting there. It, you'd right. be there at you know, one, two o'clock, whatever, and there was no one there. 
Um, like we said, the ocean bar, we enjoy it a lot, but at least on this ship, they have the staff move every single day. So if you find a waiter that you like, then the next day when you go, you don't know where to sit because you don't know where he's going to be stationed. Yes, we ended up asking him and he'd say, oh, tomorrow I'm on that side or I'm over in the corner. And and so that's how we got to use the same waiter the whole time. It was, it's nice. They, you know, you get to know them and they get to know you. And uh, so I didn't like that we had to figure out where to be every day, that we couldn't just uh, have the same waiter without having to figure out where to sit. Yes. And then finally, uh, midship where the shops were between the ocean bar and the shops. Yes. There was a bank of elevators. And, and mid elevators, and there was two restrooms there. That, and, yep. And there was, it had to be sewage, wa sewage or sewer water running out because it smelled. And the carpet was so wet when you'd walk, it'd squish up around your shoes. And it was that way the whole cruise. It was not nice. I didn't, did not like that. So it was never fixed? No. So those are the problems on the Eura Dam recently. Now, in general, Holland America has changed since we first started sailing them, which we only started sailing them, was it 2022? We did that uh, um, yeah, transatlantic. So uh, that was on the Staten Dam. But there have been some changes in the years, the year and a half, two years, since we started sailing on Holland. Uh, number one, the thing that bothers us the most, and this isn't actually a change, I think it's always been this way, is that they don't post their menus until like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. So if you don't, if you are getting off the ship in the morning, you don't know whether to eat when you're out of port or if you're going to wait until yeah. you get back um, to know what you're going to eat. So. We don't like that about no. Holland because they're owned by Carnival and Carnival, they post their entire menu for the whole cruise. Yeah, but they did when we went on it anyway. Right, well, we haven't been on for a while, yeah. but when we did. Well, and Regent put it on there. Mm -hmm. and it's, we knew, some of them, you know, the day before what they're having. So you can decide, yeah, if you want to eat out or eat at the uh, Lido or eat somewhere else instead of going to the main dining room. So, yeah, we don't like that. I don't need to posted earlier yeah the app and the, the website just in general are not really good for holland america yeah, so it, yeah because even if you go online and you, you look at uh postings on facebook or anything like that there's a lot of people complaining that the the website's always down or you get on the website you get halfway through and stuff breaks and it or doesn't work and same with the when you're on the ship a lot of times you got to shut it down on on log out log back in it just doesn't work so well right um, we also missed BB Kings. Yes, we did. That was we enjoyed that on Staten Island. So, so that seems to be going away on all, all Holland ships. Yes, I think all Holland. So BB uh, Kings, sad that it's gone, but it is. Um, also, the recently they have added uh, receipts. So even if you have the have it all package. Um, now they are making you sign a receipt. Every single time you get a drink, you need to sign. And in that receipt, they have a place where you put additional tips. Tips. Yes, if you want. Um, if you want. And I don't know, it always makes me feel almost forced to leave a tip. Yes. Rather than just sign your name. But once we got to know our waiter, it worked out really well. Just leave him cash, give him cash tips. But, um you almost feel like you need to leave a tip. And we asked about that. Why are they doing that? Uh, and they said that it was because too many customers yes. uh, were, fought the bill and said yes. that that wasn't their drink. They weren't they buying drinks it. or they didn't do anything, yes. So while I understand it, I also think that it's annoying to have to sign for your drinks when you Well, that's one thing nice about knowing our waiter because it, towards halfway through our cruise, he didn't even make us sign a lot of times. He was just right. doing He says, okay, yeah, there you go, because... He knew we weren't going to cheat him. Right. Uh, so that's something that has changed since we've started going on Holland. And then the repeating of the shows. And I've heard it on other uh, Bloggers, YouTube yes, channels yes, YouTube, that, yes. you know, it's like humanity. We've seen it. I think that they've been the same. All the shows have been the same on yes. Holland since like 2018. So it's 2024, it's time for some new shows, Holland. Yes, even the one movie there, the video for Ferrari and Lamborghini, it's the same one I saw three years ago. So yeah, they need to do something. 
Mm -hmm. So that all needs updated. Um, we didn't even enjoy very much. We tried to see a comedian. Yeah, he, he was. wasn't any good. Uh, so they do change comedians, but none of them that we found are any good. So no. um, they need to really up their game when it comes to shows. And then lastly, and the thing that I really do miss the most is the beef wellington and the lobster and yeah. the ste the uh, fillets. Fillets are gone. They're gone. They're not From the running. main dining room. From, unless yes. you pay. Yes. That's the only way. So you have to pay. And, um, so they were gone on the Staten Dam the last time. Yes. And now they were gone on the Yorra Dam as well. So no more beef wellington. You know, that used to be like the thing on the last night of the cruise or second to the last night of the cruise on dressing night. But now it's all gone. So... If you guys have any complaints or have any comments about anything we've done on here, if we've missed anything, let us know. Because um, we'd like to know if you're having the same issues we are right. while we're cruising. We enjoy Holland. We enjoy it a lot. Right. And we'll keep traveling Holland. We're going again in a week. Two weeks. What is that? Yeah, two weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we and we're going on another, a new ship, but well, new to us. Yeah. Uh, so, we will have... Some information about the Amsterdam, yes. which is the same class as the Eurodam. Yes, I think, yes. So, uh, we like that. Um, yeah, leave a comment below. So, and let us know if you like signing those receipts every time. If you've paid for your alcohol for the whole cruise, you know, do you find it annoying to be handed a receipt to sign every single time? And there's one thing nice, like when we have sailed Regent, that you don't, you don't even care. They just give it to you. They don't have to sign anything, look at anything. That is nice for them. Yeah, you're sharing the same pen as everyone else. Yes. I started carrying my own pen. Yeah. So leave us a comment and let us know what you think about that. Or are we just being picky? Yeah, maybe we are. I don't know. Let us know. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to, to see, see what's, what's next. next.